name is Vanessa Brown, and today we're going to learn how to impress your friends with beautifully hand-stamped silk scarves. Now this simple, easy, and fun project can be done by beginner stampers or even advanced stampers, so anyone can do this. All you need are a few supplies from Stampin' Up, a silk scarf, and the possibilities are endless. Tonight we have Tammy White to show us just how easily this is done. Hi Tammy, how are Hi, you? Vanessa. Very well, very well, thank you. So now we're going to be making these tonight? Tonight we're going to be doing a little fabric stamping. Oh my and we're goodness. Gonna, I know, aren't they gorgeous? They are gorgeous. Yeah, we're going to stamp, I'm going to show you how to stamp on the silk. Okay. Using our stamps and using some special craft ink pads. Mm -hmm. And um, also some of these other silk items here, the, the fan and the wine bottle holder and the barrette. All done very easily, very quickly. Wow. All right, let's get to it. Excellent. <laughs> so, Tammy, what do we have here? Well, here we have our silk scarf, mm -hmm. and then we have some craft ink pads. These are a little bit different than what we've been using on our paper products in the past. So what makes them different? Well, the craft pads come in the same 48 colors that we were using on our paper products in our past episodes. Okay. But these are a pigment ink. Now, what they're, does that mean? They're a dye ink. Mm -hmm. They're acid-free, and they're also made to stamp on fabrics. They're oh. washable. Oh, you can wash these? You can wash these. Oh, wow. I don't think you can wash the silk scarf, <laughs> but the fabrics are it washable. So if you were to stamp on a t-shirt, you would be able to, to wash it. Okay. Um, and can I use, since they're craft pads, can I use them for scrapbooking? Absolutely. Absolutely. And they're um, less prone to fade than the classic ink pads. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So they're, so they're great for many uses. So they're like almost archival quality. They, yes. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, now where will we get these silk scarves? These silk scarves, um, I got them online. In fact, you can go to my website, mm -hmm. www.stampwithtammy.com, for more information on ordering the silk scarves. Mm -hmm. We are going to stamp directly onto the silk. All right, let's do it. We're going to start with this stamp set, Baroque Motifs, um, and it's a really nice, elegant stamp set. We're going to use this really big swirl. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this flower, and we're going to use this really small flower. Okay, so we've got two flowers and a swirl. And then what we're going to do is start with our ink pads. Uh -huh. Remember, these open specially. And this is designed so that the ink can actually be stored upside down, right? right? Specially designed for stamping up. So now, how did you come up with this color combination? Um, this color combination came to me from a color wheel. Okay. <laughs> What's a color wheel? <laughs> You know, for those of us who are color challenged, you know, I, I mentioned how me. everything goes together. Um, there is such thing as a color wheel, which if you look at a specific color, for instance, here I'm using blush blossom, mellow moss, mm -hmm. and almost amethyst. And when I started, I thought, you know, I really like the mellow moss for the swirl. What colors would go well with that? So I looked up on a color wheel, and Stampin' Up! actually makes one for their own colors. And it recommended these colors to wow. go with it. So I put them together and they look beautiful. It was a really, really great choice. Look probably that. not one I would have made on my own. I would never have thought these three colors would look so great together. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's really nice to have help even if, you know, <laughs> if you're good with colors. What okay. I'm going to do is mm -hmm. I'm going to start and I'm purposely going to start when I stamp here, stamping off the edge. I'm going to ink up the big swirly. I'm going to start right here at the bottom. Okay. And I'm just going to stamp straight down and straight <gasps> up. Oh my goodness, look at that. And that is all there is. Now, will this smudge at all? Once I've stamped it, mm -hmm. when I've stamped the entire scarf, we'll want to heat set the scarf. I'm uh -huh. just going to put a design around the bottom of this scarf. So I'm going to just randomly place these flowers. See, I like the random part. It doesn't take talent <laughs> to be random. Exactly. <laughs> Anybody can be random, but I have to tell you that it's hard sometimes to stamp off the edge <laughs> when you get started. It's like coloring on one lines. of the biggest challenges people have is stamping off the edge of their paper, or in this case, stamping off the edge of the fabric. But just look how beautiful it is when you do that. And it really gives it that look of motion. Mm-hmm. Wow. And look how quick this is done. It's literally minutes, and what a great gift this would be. And so with this one, we're going to use with the... And this is just going to be a complementing color. The almost mm -hmm. amethyst flower will just complement. See, that's nice, because all of a sudden that just like pops out. And exactly. 
brings a lot of color to this beautiful scarf. And we'll just continue mm -hmm. running. Go all the way along. All the way along. Uh, see, this is, think how wonderful this would be as a gift to your mother, to your friend. And they, and they wouldn't know that you made that. Not at all. If I hadn't just shown you how to do that, you definitely would have thought that it was something that you purchased in and the store. And it's silk. Mm. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for showing us. Now, how did you do the beaded up part on the bottom? That is a very good question. Okay. Actually, the beads come separate. The, okay. The, the silk scarf comes like this, and the beads actually I purchased at a craft store. Mm -hmm. So to make this beautiful beaded fringe, you just got some beads that you purchased at a craft store? Just purchased the beads at a craft store, and they came right on this ribbon. Okay, so they're already on a they're ribbon. They're already on the ribbon back. Now, how do we get the ribbon onto the scarf? Now, that's the trick. <laughs> okay. We have the beads mm -hmm. on the ribbon. I'm just going to snip at the right length, or approximately okay, so the right length. The I'm going to flip them over to the bottom side here, and I'm using some of Stampin' Up! Sticky Strip. This stuff is fabulous. We use it on a lot of our projects, and I learned a little while back that it's also great for wardrobe malfunctions. Ooh. Yes, it's very strong stuff. And it's also good for holding this on. I, would you? Oh, so that'd be great if you have like a button-down shirt exactly. and you get, you know, let's get that little opening. And I learned this trick the hard way. <laughs> Sticky strip. It's okay. not just for paper products. Sticky. Now, is this permanent tape? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's permanent. Once we stick it, it'll stay. I'm just going to flip our scarf over. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And peel off the red sticky backing. The if ribbon. You touch it, it will be very, very mm -hmm. sticky. And then this just lays right down. And that's the back of the silk scarf? This is the back of the silk scarf. So this craft ink is very pigmented because you can actually see the you same. You can see it from the back, yeah. Wow. See, mm. now I like this because I don't have to sew. No. Nope. I don't have to get out a needle thread because I can't you sew. Remember, <laughs> I don't sew. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so you just cut off the extra. So we're just going to snip, snip the edge here. Mm -hmm. And here we have our wow. beaded bottom. Wow, look how quick that is. Literally, not even minutes, it was like seconds. And we have a beautifully hand-stamped scarf. And it's even got beads that it looks like a professional did. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. What a great stocking stuffer for this year. Look at that. Thank you so much. Now, what else can you do with oh, this? Oh, we have lots of projects that we can do with this. In fact, I have a few here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we have a wine bottle holder, wow. a gift bag. And it looks just like this little and scarf. It mm -hmm. coordinates well with the scarf, so what a great gift when you're going to somebody's house. What a great thing, a bottle of wine and a beautiful hand-stamped wine bag. It's beautiful. <gasps> Look at that. And so this was stamped too. This is stamped as well. Now where do I get the fan? The fan came from the same place as the silk scarves and also the wine. Th these are silk wine bottle okay. holders. It's silk. And all I did here was I masked off the wood with some either masking tape or shipping mm -hmm. tape so that it didn't get stamped and stamped the same pattern along the silk on, this, on the fan. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And what a nice little pairing you can give like a scarf and a with some either